I'm Chef Selena with the Sylvia Center, a nonprofit organization that specializes in hands on food and nutrition education for youth in New York City and Columbia County, New York. So, today we're going to be making a frozen berry compote. Frozen berries are really great because they still have pack all the same nutrition as fresh berries um, and they can be stored for much longer, which is really important right now considering that we may not have access to a grocery store. So before I started, I washed my hands for 20 seconds with antibacterial soap and hot water. I also sanitized my countertop with a solution of bleach and water. So what you're gonna need for this recipe is some mixed berries, I'm using um, a 15 ounce bag. This will be exactly three cups. If you have a bigger bag or smaller bags, you're gonna to wanna to measure out three cups. You're also gonna be using one tablespoon of lemon juice, three tablespoons of maple syrup, and a pinch of salt. And those are the only ingredients in this easy recipe. The equipment you'll need is a small pot like this, a spoon, and some measuring spoons to measure this all out. So we're gonna be serving this delicious berry compote today with some oatmeal scones. You can tune into another video to see that. <clears throat> or you can serve it with um, on top of some yogurt, in a parfait, um, or even with um, French toast or pancakes. So it's really quick and easy to make this recipe. You're gonna add your berries to your pot. You're gonna add your maple syrup and your lemon juice right in there. And we like to use maple syrup instead of granulated sugar to sweeten in our recipes because granulated sugar is processed even more than maple syrup. Um, and also we are actually starting to pull some um, sap and make our own maple syrup from our trees and Katchke farm in our upstate office. So then we're also gonna add a pinch of sea salt. This is about a pinch. And then we're gonna put this on the stove and we're gonna cook it over medium heat until it thickens. So I will show you it while it's cooking. So my berry compote is boiling away, but it hasn't thickened quite up as much as I'd like it to yet. So I'm gonna keep continuing to cook it, but you can see that it's starting to get a little bit thicker here and all my berries have melted down. So our compote has been cooking for about 25 to 30 minutes and you can see that it's really thickened up and reduced down. So now we're ready to take this off the heat and put it in a bowl and chill it. So we're back and our compote has been chilling for about 15 minutes in the refrigerator. You can also let it chill at room temperature. You can see it's super thick and delicious. And so now I'm just gonna serve it with a scone. Um, we made these beautiful oatmeal scones, which I said before, you can find the recipe in the video um, separately. And I'm gonna top this scone with some of my compote. If you did, if you wanted to use fresh berries for this, you absolutely can. You could also add other fruit to this, like peaches um, or even um, cherries, whatever you like. So now I'm gonna taste it just to see how it came out and make sure that it's seasoned properly and delicious. That is so good. The maple syrup gives a little bit of sweetness, but not too much. And the lemon juice cuts, the, cuts it with a little bit of acidity. And it thickened up really nicely. So if you're looking for a recipe for um, your frozen fruit, you can go ahead and make this fresh, the frozen fruit compote. And thanks so much for, for watching. Um, for more videos and this recipe, you can visit www.thesylviacenter.org. And please share and like this video. And also, stay healthy and keep cooking.